Now we're going to be talking about businesses building a sustainable zero waste economy in a sustainable resource management world. Um, we equate uh, sustainable resource management and zero waste because the uh, tagline for sustainable resource management is reduce, reuse, recycle to zero waste. Um, so we are going to talk about zero waste. But if you don't want to use that phrase, sustainable resource management could be substituted anywhere we say zero waste on these slides. But clearly businesses are leading the way to zero waste. Uh, thousands of businesses have been documented as having achieved 90% or greater diversion from landfills and incinerators. Large businesses, small businesses, electronic businesses, organic businesses, uh, in urban areas, rural areas, all over the world. Uh, there's many on this list from uh, uh, Japan, because Japan took zero waste seriously in the uh, 1990s, and the Minister for Environment and Trade uh, challenged their businesses to move forward with zero waste, <clears throat> set up the zero emissions research and initiatives to tr uh, train their businesses on that and to figure out how to get there. And so that's why you'll see many Japanese companies uh, have already achieved over 90% diversion uh, from the landfill and incinerators. Um, on this list, you'll see a number of uh, restaurants in San Francisco because the city is a zero waste community since 2001. They designed their system to be easier and cheaper for businesses uh, to be zero waste than to continue wasteful practices. And so that's why you'll see a lot of the uh, businesses on this list and, and larger ones. Uh, General Motors is an interesting new one. I uh, just heard about at a recent meeting, and we'll be talking a little bit more about them. Uh, but they uh, um, have achieved over a billion dollars of savings uh, from their zero waste initiatives. Um, Pillsbury got to zero waste by doing 10% better every year at waste reduction. Uh, they didn't strive for zero waste, but they did through continuous improvement effort get there. Uh, Xerox was the, uh, uh, one of the first early leaders who leased out equipment. It came back as an asset or a liability. They figured out they'd rather have it be an asset, so they put it back out there on a lease basis. And when it uh, didn't run anymore, they uh, used the parts from it to help keep other uh, machines out there. And when they uh, no longer had any parts to use, they scrapped the materials for recycling. They also developed the waste-free factories early on as one of their concepts back in 1990. Whole Foods Markets on here um, is uh, one of the um, early leaders on sustainable practices. And as a decentralized company, uh, they haven't uh, achieved company-wide zero waste yet, uh, but they were the first um, firm in the nation to be certified by the U.S. Zero Waste Business Council. Uh, three of them in February in Southern California um, were certified as the first zero waste businesses certified by the U.S. Zero Waste Business Council. So each of these businesses has a story. Uh, many of them are uh, captured in PowerPoints at the websites of earthresource.org and the uszwbc.com. So why are they doing it? Well, one of the biggest drivers, particularly in the downturn in the economy, is that uh, zero waste um, businesses all save money. Um, they also reduce their liability under the Federal Superfund Act. They increase their efficiency. They reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, they um, are using this to compete more as green companies, which increasingly is a big advantage in the marketplace, uh, producing clean energy through anaerobic digestion, saving energy, and it's the right thing to do. Uh, also, uh, for many uh, businesses, uh, it helps them focus on reducing litter to the oceans and watersheds, which has been a major problem and a major driver for zero waste policies in uh, the world. Uh, now we're going to highlight a number of case studies and uh, principles um, to talk about uh, this in a little bit more detail. Um, first on the cost savings, all zero waste businesses have saved money. 
They save the most money by reducing wasteful practices, eliminating uh, waste, uh, going up and finding out who screwed up, I like to say, um, and see where things went wrong so it was wasted. Waste is a verb, not a noun, and a large part of zero waste is trying to figure out uh, where something became uh, wasted uh, because someone wasn't paying attention to the detail of how to use it more efficiently. Um, businesses then save the next bo most by uh, reuse systems like reusable uh, shipping containers, returnable pallets, and then they save money uh, a little bit uh, through recycling and composting if the rates are structured right. Um, and that depends on the community or the waste haulers that are servicing them. Uh, here are a couple of slides of the over 100 facilities of General Motors uh, that are now landfill-free manufacturing operations. Overall, they're at 98% uh, diversion from landfill, uh, and they're all over the world. Um, they uh, uh, have had a third party verify that uh, they have more landfill-free facilities than any than all the other automakers combined, uh, saving a billion dollars a year for General Motors. And it's all about efficiency and um, meeting their sustainable business goals for General Motors. Uh, Toyota uh, has also been a uh, leader. Um, this slide highlights uh, the concept of MUDA, any expenditure of time, money, material, effort, or other resource that does not generate value for the customer, uh, something that they want to eliminate uh, that's part of their, their core uh, beliefs. Um, conservation is a key part of what they uh, talk about and continuous improvement, and they really stress, as most businesses that are zero waste do, um, you need to count uh, um, uh, real accurately what you're doing in order to find where things are going wrong and to change them. Toyota has 10 plants that are near zero waste, uh, reduced 95% from a 1999 baseline, have other facilities that are zero waste and landfill, um, as indicated, uh, they've integrated this into their ISO 14001 EMS programs. Um, they have saved money, uh, avoided costs of uh, collection and disposal of $1.3 million a year. Uh, but uh, the big uh, uh, number here is through the use of returnable shipping containers, uh, they saved over $40 million in costs. Uh, so that's a huge uh, benefit um, of why we say it's not about recycling, it's about reducing and reusing. Setting up those reuse systems is a huge benefit for getting to zero waste. Uh, one of the things Toyota had a great slide to share with you is how important labeling is in their operations uh, and the education of all their employees is a key part of any zero waste business program. Honda has a great slide here uh, showing their uh, march to zero waste, um, and they're really proud that they're down. Um, uh, we're at uh, 4.1 pounds of landfill per automobile produced in North America, 